Nadine here, artist in residence for Imagine Crafts, sharing how I created an ombre effect on a card. First I wanted to use a water-based pigment, so Versacolor or Kaleidacolor would work great for this. I chose the Kaleidacolor in Desert Heat, and as you can see there's a lever on there that you can pull the color so they separate apart or together. And since the Kaleidacolor was already in an ombre or gradient type color in this particular color pad, that I decided to do this use that one. In the ink potion number nine, this is the reason why I use the water-based inks. Zinc potion number nine works best with water-based inks. I just sprayed it on my craft mat, took a stamp, and dabbed it or stamped it down into the ink potion number nine, and then stamped it right on top of the ink that I used on the cardstock. Gave it some time to soak in, and took it up. You can't really see it, but once you use the heat tool, it will lighten it up. It's sort of a new way, fun way to use, like get a bleach effect, bleaching effect. And then taking some Versamark, stamping up the ink pad, and try to matching up, match up what I did the first time with the ink potion number nine, and re-stamping right over the top of that. And then I'll be taking some embossing powder, Sparkle, Sprinkling that right on there. Then I'll tap that off as best as I can. Pour it back in the jar. Don't want to waste any. And I'll heat that up. Once it heats up, you'll see it turn into a nice shine. Then I'm going to repeat the process again with the Versamark, but this time I'm going to use some black embossing powder. Line that right back up on there. And then once I get the black embossing powder on there, I'm going to take a dry brush. You can see after I get the powder on there. And I just take a dry brush and sort of brush off some of that embossing powder. So I don't want a solid line with the black embossing powder. I want it to be more in the crevices of the image to give it more of a shadow look. And then heat it back up again. Now using sheer shimmer and gold, just to give it a fun little sparkle. You can sort of see that on there. Layered up some black on some a white card base, rounded off the corners, added some ribbon, a thank you sentiment, and some bling. And that's it. Thank you for watching and visit imaginecrafts.com for even more inspiration.